So what am I going to report on today? Ravensburger Spielland is going to be opening an interesting new area with a new family attraction for the 2020 season. And trust me, the concept art is very, very weird, but very exciting. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Curtis Chad Stubborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to an interesting theme park news update from Ravensburger Spearland, uh, which is a small theme park, small amusement park for families and I'm reporting on this because there's a very interesting new family attraction yes it might be a family attraction but the concept art for this looks very very interesting and I like reporting on these small parks, give them a bit of coverage, give them the respect that they deserve uh, so before we get started, make sure you go check out our videos uh, from the past few days. We did Friday's uploads uh, from Knots and from Dreamworld Australia. Check out uh, the uploads later on this uh, today and tomorrow uh, from the likes of Universal's Epic Universe. Uh, we've got the opening year for that. We've also got details on Furevik new attraction for 2020 uh, and where it's been located. That video is online now, so make sure you go and check that one out once you've got the chance. And make sure you get your shout outs in for the next recorded video. So this is going to be a video on Ravens Burgess Spielland, which is a small amusement park here in Europe. And on a brand new family attraction themed around a board game and the whole look of the attraction. So I'm going to share some concept art while I tell you uh, a bit about the attraction and also some things about the park that you might not know. So I'm going to put the concept on your screen now. Find out now we're going to go through the concept art just a little bit later on, but first of all, let's just take some details about what we know about this new family attraction. So it's going to be themed around the children's board game Kekalakak, I think that's how it's pronounced, Kekalakak, uh, which also gives the attraction its name. So it's going to the attraction itself is going to be named uh, Kekalakak, and the whole area is going to be named. It's going to be themed around that. So. Uh, the, uh, the park has promised tingling driving fun and basically, as you can see by the concept art, it's pretty much a modern take on a magic carpet. Uh, you sit in an oversized cockroach which they swing to a height of around 3 metres and due, the, due to the construction the passengers uh, always remain horizontal unlike conventional ship swings uh, and of course like I said the waiting area is also inspired by the board game and which players have to manoeuvre the cockroach into the trap with the help of out-of-the-box cutlery. So you can see by the concept art, uh, there's like forks, knives and spoons uh, as part of like the poles for the fences for the queue line, which is a very clever way of doing it. Uh, so basically, if you don't know the model of this attraction, it's the Rocket Roll, that's the name of the, the model of the flat ride, and it's going to be manufactured by SBF Visa. There's another one of these opening next year in a North German amusement park. Up to eight people can sit in a row and sit in the new attraction. And of course, if you didn't know already, the new 2020 season opens at the park on April the 4th. Saturday, April the 4th. So, I am bewildered. I am very bewildered about this family attraction. Like I said, I'm going to be going through uh, some of the uh, bits from the concept tile a little bit later. But, I sort of wanted to tell you just a little bit about this park first. Because uh, I feel like I need to, because not many people out there, hardly anyone will know what this park is. Um, so it has over 70 attractions in 8 themed worlds. Uh, if you don't know where this park uh, is located, um, and you sort of want to know, you know, where, if you want to know where this park uh, is, you know, around and sort of where you want to sort of find this uh, attraction. It's in uh, Germany, uh, for those of you who need to know. Um, it's a small German park, so the full name is Ravensburger Spielland Freisit Park and Freiendorf, uh, which is a very long name. Um, it's in Mecklenburg, I think that's how it's pronounced, which is in Germany. Um, and it's a seasonal child friendly leisure park with themed zones, petting zoo, rides and live shows. So it's pretty much uh, the Flambards or the M&Ds of Germany. It's pretty much that smaller park uh, for families. Uh, which is, again, I, I like how I'm covering these small parks because it gives them more coverage. 
and it's sort of it's nice to cover the small parts because if it wasn't for the small parks they wouldn't have grown to larger scales to the main parks that we see in the world today like the Alton Towers. Alton Towers started off with a fairground in the gardens. Drayton Manor started off as a small fairground. Thorpe Park started off as a family park on an island. You know, it was um, these, how, these are how these parks started off, so we have to sort of give respect to these parks. And you know what? You can see by the concept art, you can see that oversized cockroach that you sit in, and you see the, the cutlery around the queue line that holds the fences up, it's a nice clean wooden fence, you can see the logo uh, on the structure for the ride. And like I said, it is a wacky modern approach to a magic carpet ride, uh, in my personal opinion. So. And I think, I love how they're, they're theming this to a children's board game. I like that. I like that theme because uh, it gives the it gives the whole theme of the ride and it, whole, it gives the whole wackiness of the attraction. So, I am excited for this attraction. Kekalakak. Ke I think that's how it's pronounced. Kekalakak. Uh, which is the name of the children's board game. It's the name of the ride. Uh, but it's themed around that whole board game, the area. So, the area is not going to be called Kekalakak. The attraction will be called that, and the whole themed area is going to be based on the Kekalakak board game, uh, which is, I'm guessing, a German exclusive board game. I haven't actually played it when I was a kid, so I never got the chance to experience it, but I'll have to double check with that board game to sort of see what else they could do with the whole area. So I am really excited. I'm, you know, this is a small part that I've not heard anything from. But I am generally excited about this family attraction. I think it's going to be, if they can really pull it off, this could be one of the best themed magic carpet type attractions in Europe if they could really theme it correctly. And like I said, I love covering these small parks. This park, unless I've got it incorrect, doesn't have a roller coaster database page. It's one of those parks. So it's nice to cover it. So thank you very much for watching this small theme park news update on Ravens Berger, Spielland, Freisick Park and Freiendorf. Make sure you comment down, make, comment down below your thoughts. Do you like the concept art? What do you think it could do with the whole area? Comment down below your thoughts and theories. Like the video if you love this very different news update. Click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check the description down below to subscribe to the Instagram account for me, Aaron Chandler Official. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child, Kill in the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.